Good morning, everybody, and my name is Sam. I'm one of the trainers here at the University of Bath. As always, it's my pleasure to be here today to take you through a workout in the comfort of your own home. And that workout today is burn. So, those of you who have done burn before, you know what to expect. So, with burn, it's going to be high intensity, but lots of recovery in between. We're going to challenge your limits, get a sweat on, get you wanting a lot to drink, get you breathing heavy, but again, you also get that very important break in between. So, throughout the whole session, test your own limits and you'll get the time to recover in between each of those blocks as we work it. For those who have done it before, you do know what to expect, you know it progressively gets tougher as you go through. Keep challenging yourself, there's three rounds in each block. So how it works during the session, you've got a block. So a block would consist of three exercises. Each exercise you would normally do for 30 seconds, quick turn around and you repeat it three times. Whereas today, we're going to increase that to 40 seconds just to get a little bit more out of you if you can. So I'll give you harder and easier options of each exercise so you can float between the two as you go. The main thing is remember why you came here today and that will help you get to where you want to get to during the session. Whenever you find it tough, just think why did I get out? Why did I join Sam on that session on that day? So when the workouts get tough and you can't get an extra press up out or an extra squat out, just always remember that and it'll help you get through. So key things before we get going with the warm up is make sure you've got a little bit of space. So all I've got is about two meters, a length of the yoga mat is all I have here on the floor. And then all you need over than that is I've got a towel and I've got a drinks bottle. Some of the key things you'll need in any workout. Because like I say, it's going to get a bit hot and sweaty and also it's not a studio. So it's not going to be an air conditioned room unless you've got that luxury in your house or you open a window like I tend to do here. So you will get a bit more sweaty than you normally would, plus we are making you work hard in short, sharp blasts. So remember, have fun, put everything you can into it, and keep enjoying those sessions, and you will learn stuff, and you'll get the results you want to get from it. Anyway, let's get going. So let's march on the spot, everybody. Those you've done before, the warm-up's always very similar. I'll add a few new movements into the warm-up, which may come up in the actual session itself. But the warm-up, it does the job. It's time-effective, and also it gets the muscles to hit that I want to hit during the session. So rolling those shoulders backwards, excellent stuff. Rolling those shoulders forwards, good. So we're looking to do two back, two forwards. So it's one, two, and then forwards, one, and two, excellent stuff. Just keep that together. So what's the point of the warm-up? Those who are just joining in, you're thinking this looks a bit slow for a burn session. The idea of the warm-up is to get your body on the same page as your mind. In other words, when you come here this morning, you were ready in your head to do this session, but it was your body. So we'll get the body ready as much as what your head is to complete this session this morning. So we're going to do a few squats now. So this is down and up. Down and up. Show your side up. So we're going down, just pushing that bum back. Down and up. So the weight from my heels is driving up. Down and up. Down and up. Excellent stuff. Back to march on the spot. Open those arms across. So you alternate which one goes high and which one goes low. So if you can keep that balance right, we're on to the winner again because it's loosening you up. We'll do some side steps now. Just going to go across and across. Across. So those done with speed scares, similar sort of movement. That's one of the more intense sessions where it comes with you during the sessions. So that's why we always make sure you warm up in that sideways or lateral movement as well. Fantastic. Then catch my first dip. So all we're going to do is step forward now, okay? So we're going to step forwards, then change. Drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. So again, it's a movement you might do every day, like a small bank or a walk. So when you're walking, it's a modified version of a lunge. So a lunge is a bigger version of a walk, but it's the same thing. That moving forward, swing your arms as well. We're going to twist over the top, twist. So whichever leg is going forward, we're twisting over the top of that leg now. So it's across, it's across, and it's across. Fantastic. Back to marching on the spot. Okay, so open those arms up for me. Bring it across the body. Good stuff. Almost ready for that first block. Okay, so a few more squats. This is dying up. So hopefully what you feel like now, you're a bit more warmer. And you think, yes, got a little bit of sweat coming through. I think I'm ready to do this. I think we are as well. So, here's how it's going to work. I'll get my phone in, my little timer, take off some fluid if you need it 
at this moment in time. So up first, here's the first block of exercise. The first one to say is always the easier one. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to go with a squat, arms out, twist the knee, twist, okay? So that one's always a staple to work out. It just loosens you up to take you from the warm up through to the main part. Remember, it's 40 seconds today, not 30. So those extra 10 seconds are going to make a big, big difference. Once we've done those, as we feet together, hands together, we go wide, touch my elbows, up, touch my elbows. Once we've done those, we're then going to do pulse squats, which is down to the bottom, tiny pulses, okay? So remember, what we're looking for here, do 40 seconds of each. Just down, twist, down, twist, then together, elbows wide, touch, and then there's pulse squats at the bottom. So let me get my timer going. So remember, block one, three times three. So get ready for you guys. Easy one first, so it can be down, twist. Remember, use those arms. With these ones, remember, it's 40 seconds. Set yourself up target. If you manage to do 20 in 40 seconds, the next time, do whether it's the next round or next session, do this, maybe watch it back on replay or next week. Try and do a few more. Try and get 23. Try and get 24. So the idea is drop down, open and out. Fantastic. Today's one real test as well. After this burn session, there's a quick turnover, and then it's going to be an abs and back session at quarter to eight. So feel free to come and join me. Let's go twist it out, twist it out, twist it out, twist it out. Good stuff. Feet together, knees together, hands nice and close. Two, one. Down, up, down, up, down. Good. So every time, try and get your legs as wide as you can. When you touch them with those elbows, get as low as you can down. Perfect. Okay, it just challenges you a bit more every time. So try and do it up. Good. Remember, I'll give you plenty of time rest after each block. Down. There it is. Keep going. So we've done these blocks. We'll go on for ages, some of them. The more tougher ones especially. But they're all designed to test you and to give you the recovery in between. So always be a bouncy one like this, and always be a slightly easier one, which is where you're holding it still. Okay, you ready? Down to the bottom. Pulse leg. So again, with these ones, you will begin to feel, especially if you've done my body or my legs bumps and times on Monday. So tiny little movements. Your body's thinking, whoa, what's this? It barely looks like I'm moving, but it's doing enough to get those legs to fire. And that's the key part. So drop it down halfway through. Keep going. Tiny, tiny movements. It's all about tricking the body. That's what the workouts we do, is trick your body into thinking, oh, I'm gonna go all the way up. Whereas in reality, we're not. We're stopping it. We're pulsing it. In three, two, one. Shake his legs up. Round one done, round two coming up. Exactly the same. One, let's go. Cross, cross, cross. And when you get like that, you think, oh, I can feel it in my legs. That's because you're beginning to feel that, oh, I went from doing small movements to big movements. My legs feel like jelly. Especially, like I say, if you've done my legs and bums that we did on Monday, you will really feel it around right now. I'm thinking to myself, oh, I can feel that already. Down, cross, down, cross. 10 seconds. Good. Here we go. Big arm movement. Big arm movement. Three, two, one. Woo. Shake it off. Feet together, knees together, hands close. Ready? Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Good. So it's time the movement. All we're looking at as low as you can. When I come, my feet are literally on my tiptoes when they touch in the middle. I'm not even letting them plant on the floor. Only when I go wide do they plant on the floor. Remember, I'm trying to get my elbows as close to my knees as I can. Excellent stuff. If I spring up, good. That's the ones we're looking for. 10 more seconds, everybody. Good. Hold them with me. Don't drop now. In fact, Four, three, two, one. Woo! Here are those pulses. Low, down, pulse side. There it is. So again, 
Sign the movement to the body. It's again, it's more the when knees bent and thinking, wow, I just want to stand up. But we're not. We're going to keep moving. Keep it going. I mean, giving you these blends in with the other. So this first block, you've got the arm wide, which is more of a less impact one. Then we've got the jumping ones, which means your muscles got to work a little bit harder because you've got to absorb the impact. Then we've got these pulses ones, where your body's thinking, whoa, what's going on? Tiny movements, what's that? Which pushes you over the edge. Two, one. Whew. Shake his legs up. Thank you for being there, guys. Are you ready? Last time through. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. This is the point where you think, I'll never get my elbows down to my knees. Because your body's tired, your muscles have worked. Just get as low as you can. Put your legs a little bit wider. Test yourself in different ways. You want to make it more fun? And a clap at the top. Down. There it is. Come on. Keep going. Then you're giving up that. Big jump up. Come on, keep going. All the time. Spring it up. Spring it up. Spring it up. Good stuff. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. Across. For those who are observant, I get so carried away. I threw that one in before this one. I like kind to of, eh? So this should have been the number one. But it's then down number two. So we've got these one of the pulse blocks, okay? Drop it down, twist it around, twist it around. Get that spring. Just did the same exercises. Let's put them in a little bit of a different order. I have to admit, I didn't do that on purpose neither. Get twist around, twist around, twist around. And then squat it down, shifting that weight, and spring it up again. We've got those pulse squats after this. Then you get your water break, and you get to wipe away that sweat. I'll twist it through, twist, twist, twist. Good stuff. You ready? Three, two, one. Down we go. Small movements, tiny, tiny movements. Remember, there's only a couple of blocks during these sessions, but because of the way they test you, you won't need to do many more than that. So you can do a handful of exercises, but they're designed to test your limit to the max. So you think, actually, have I really tested myself? Have I hit what I achieved to be here? Did I leave anything there? Could I put more in? That's the answers to the questions you want. When you walk out of here, you want to know, I gave everything I could possibly give to that session. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fabulous, guys. Wipe away your sweat. Woo! How you all feeling, everyone? You feeling ready? Let's take on some water. Okay, this is going to get a little bit more interesting in the outer exercise. So what we're going to do now is make it a little bit tougher. So the first one is going to be jumping lunges. Big step forwards, drop in. You're basically jumping, 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 okay? Drop them down as low as you can. If that's too much, just do alternating speed lunges. Once we've done that, we're going to drop down, we're going to go on to those press-ups, okay? So if you press up position, you run your knees, legs are straight, all the way down and up. Remember the bigger gap between the point of contact between your feet and your hands or your knees and the hand, the harder the exercise. Hence why if your knees off the floor is a bigger gap, which makes it harder. All you've got to remember is nose in front of fingertips each time. So that's your next one, okay? Once you've done those, is twist the mountain climbers. So basically a twist underneath when you bring that knee through. If that's too much, just go straight in. Okay, so jumping lunges, press ups, twisted mountain climbers. Big jump from that last one there. Are you ready for this? I think you are. So, in three, two, one, let's do this. Just down, 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 down. Drop it low each time. So my knee is dropping. So spring up, use my arms, spring up, spring up, spring up, spring up, spring up, spring up. Good. Try and get your shoulders back. Remember, you're twisting those legs. Come on, drop it down. Try and get his knees at 90. This way you think, oh, I can beat it now. Come on. Keep it going. Almost there. 10 seconds. 10 good seconds. Spring those arms. What have we got? Keep going. Drop it down. Bend that knee as much as you can. Three, two, one. Ooh. Press that position, folks. Down we go. 
in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, mix it up a little bit. Some on your knees, some off your knees. I'm going to do a mixture with you because try to complete 40 seconds straight through three times whilst doing all the other stuff is going to be a test for even the fittest people. So again, mix it up. It's just as high. Good. So I'm going to breathe out on the way up. Lower it down. Breathe it out. Nose in front of my fingertips each time. Almost there. Come on. In five, four, three, two, one. Shake those arms out. Ready for those twisted mining climbers? Here we go. Hands down, legs out. Let's go under, 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 under. Twist right through, twist right through. Twist, 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 twist. Big twist every time. Really get it across your body. So you're dropping low into it. My arm's staying straight, if it gets too much, just bend your elbows slightly and take a little bit of pressure off. Twist under, twist under, twist, twist. So again, starts off easy, and then you think, ooh, not only that support my upper body, but I'm working it as well. Keep going. Come on. In five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Ooh. Round one, down the legs. Wipe your sweat away. You ready? Three, two, one. Down, down, down. So spring in here, spring in here, spring, spring. Use your arms, pump it through. Remember, try to elevate off the floor. Drop point in, down, down, down. Good. Your legs will get to the stage when you feel like jelly. Hence why I give you press ups after, just to give them a bit of a recovery. You start breathing heavy, you'll begin to sign like me. That's what you want. Inside that last 10. Keep it going. In five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic stuff, everybody. Into press up position. How are you doing now? Three, two, one. Here we go. Come on. Again, mix up those positions. Have a little bit of fun with it. Really test yourself. If you did 25 last time, try and get 26 this time. So we gotta do. Shake those arms. If it gets tough, then push through again. Good. We haven't got that many press ups. We're not doing another block of them. Just give it your all now. Down up. Good. In 10, 9, 8. Shake those arms. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Woo. Wipe away that sweat. Are you ready? Twist the mining climbers. Here we go. Under, 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 under. Come on. Big twist for each time. Get underneath that trunk. So what we gotta do. You'll find the upper body ones tougher than the standard up ones. Because how often do you do this sort of holding position or press ups? You're always walking on your legs. Don't very often walk on your hands. Come on, big twist under. Twist, twist, twist. In 10 seconds, get it through. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Stand up. Wipe away your sweat. One more round. Are you ready? Here we go. There, there, there. You can drop down, drop down. So down, down, you'll get slower and slower as you go. Just try and get a nice movement into it. Every time you land, your muscles apply under twice as much pressure as they would do during the traditional lunge because they've got to absorb the impact. Come on, 15 seconds. Keep it going. Come on, hang in. No dropping yet. If we can do this together. Keep going for it. Down, down, down. Five, four. Three, two, one. Whew. My mat keeps moving. Are ready for those press ups? One last time. Two, one. Here we go. Drop it down. Drop it down. Let's hold at the bottom. Let's make it different. Hold, hold, up. You ready? Hold, hold, up. 
Let's push right. Down that. Again. Hold at the bottom. Hold it. Hold it. Push right. Again. Whew. Hold it halfway this time. Hold it. Hold it. To the top. Ready? Push right. Here we go. Down. 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 Again. One more. Down and up. Fantastic. We've got twisting my hand climbers. Then you get a break, okay? Let's do this together. We can make it through. Come on. Twist it under. Twist it under. Twist. Again. Try and twist right through. Twist that whole trunk. So it's getting a bit of a hurry. So it's going to engage the core even more. Big twist. Big twist. Big twist. Again. Come on, we're just over halfway through these. Then you get that drinks break. Twist it low. 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 Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. How are you feeling, boy? You feel that? Hopefully, you sweat your pour in there. Take on some fluid. Okay, how are you doing with me? So, what I've done this session today, it's made it a little bit different. So, adding a few new exercises, increase the time. So what you'll find is, it's hitting in a different way. We try and make each burn session slightly different to the last. Just march on the spot, just when I explain what's coming up next. And you are gonna probably hate each of these ones, okay? So here we go, it's gonna be high knees, 40 seconds. Once you've done this, jump in, twist the surface. With a difference, we're gonna go there, Squat thrust in, there, squat thrust in, 40 seconds. Once you've done those, what we're gonna get back to then, is we're gonna go and do some star jumps, okay? It's gonna be high knees for 30 seconds. Jump and twist and surfs for 40 seconds. Star jumps for 40 seconds. Are we ready for this? I think we can do this. Three, two, one, high knees. Now after these jumping lunges, your legs will be screaming. That's what we want. Especially after these pulse squats and the in and out squats at the beginning as well. Let's try and get those knees up. Come on. Whew. Keep going for me. No matter how tired you feel, just keep telling yourself, you're almost done. This 30 minute session with me is worth it. You'll get the results, you'll feel energized for the rest of the day. Get his arms and legs pumping. Wipe away sweat in between each one of these exercises, okay? We're going to do these twice through, okay? Because they are tough. One. Woo. Quick wipe of the sweat. This will be the funny one now, okay? You ready? Low. There. Out. In. There. Out. In. There. Out. In. There. Eight. Good. Keep that rhythm going. Compare yourself once you twist. Otherwise, you'll get very dizzy very quickly. Land the soft knees. Arms out. Soft knee out. Good. There. Eight. There. Eight. There. Good. One we'll point sweat again. Ready? Start jumps. Two, one, good. Eight. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Come on. To the top. To the top. Those legs will feel like jelly. If you're too much, just go out. 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 If not, keep going. Good. I told you we're doing two rounds right of these because they are. So tough, your heart will be pounding, your legs screaming. If you've really tested yourself, that is how you should be feeling. Four, three, two, one, good. Are you ready to catch your breath? Ooh. My mat's sliding a bit today. You ready for those high knees? Two, one, come on. Those knees won't feel like they're very high now. 
Just pump your arms and legs. Come on. We can do it. Keep going. And his knees up. So forward facing. Let's turn sideways facing. Forward facing. Sideways facing. Join it with me. Forward facing. Sideways facing. Forward facing. Sideways facing. Keep going. Back facing. Side facing. Forward facing. Come on. In four. Three. Two. One. Woo. Again. Why that sweat away? Take a little sip of water for you. You ready? In position. Last one. There. In. Twist. Ice. Twist. Ice. In. Twist. Always land before you put those legs out. It means you land safely before you add another movement in. So land soft knees, hands out. Soft knees, out. Soft knees. One more. There it is. Woo. You ready? Woo. Side jumps. Three, two, one. Good. Come on. We got this. Last ones. We're moving in two rounds. Then you get a drinks break. Then we've got a blast for that final block. And then we're done. Different style of burning today. Hopefully, this really tested you. Keep going, come on. Remember, to the side of the toe. To the side. To the side. To the side. If not, keep going. There it is. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Grab a drink, guys. Wipe away that sweat. Hopefully, at this stage now, it's not like that. You'll be thinking, whew, that was pounding. You're a bit all warm, my legs are like jelly. That's what we're after, okay? Taking a bit of fluid. Up next, there's going to be a 30 second plank. It's then going to be followed by 30 seconds of shoulder taps. So what's what it look like, okay? So we go into position. Remember those planks. Elbow and hand in line with your shoulder. So it creates like a train track. Same gap all the way through, okay? So we get into position, and knees out. Drop your hips slightly, one leg, two leg. If too much, put your knees down. That's your plank for 30 seconds. Shoulder taps, arms straight, get your legs a bit wider. Tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder. Once you've done that, onto your back for 30 seconds of bicycle kicks, okay? We're gonna do that twice through. So let me just uh, get my front going. So you're ready for that plank position, twice through, then stretches. Drop it down, hold it. We're only doing 30 seconds on these, remember? It's not 40, keep holding it. Keep holding. So your core is being engaged quite a lot during the sessions it is. This is just what's going to push over the edge a bit. So keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. You've got five seconds. In three, two, one. We go up. Ooh. Legs out, a bit wider. Shoulder taps go. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Onto your back. Oh, just keep your right elbow left knee. Cross, cross. Let's go. Just burn those muscles out. Right, we're going to mix it up. I'm going to make it a little bit harder for you, okay? So I'll tell you what to do once we've got the end of these 30 seconds of these. So big twist to that trunk. Twist, 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 twist. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Tackle in. Hold it at the top. Hold it there. 
See what naps you want to drop. Try and hold it. Keep your knees in. Hold it there. So your muscles will be screaming, eh? So we did a holding first. Holding second with the shoulder taps. Then we did a moving. Now we're on a holding. Keep holding. Keep holding. Keep holding. We can do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In and out to 30. Let's go. Come on. Last ones. Then we're stretching. So bring his knees in. Drive man. Good. Just small little movements. 15 seconds. So even knees. We'll keep the heart rate elevated. Let's keep going through. In five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic stuff, everybody. Ooh, how'd that feel? So, what we just did there, let me stop that when we've gone to the stretches now. Left leg out in front. Okay, all we're gonna do is lean slightly into it. Hold that position. So during that session, we start off a easy warm up. We progress on to block one, which is different variants of squats, knee raises, so in and out to the pulses at the bottom. Then we've done these jumping lunges with the press ups and the twisted mountain climbers. Hold that leg where it is, bring the other leg over, which was tough. Then after that, we went on to doing the high knees, the jumping surface. So there's lots of ways to make it tougher as we went through. That extra 10 seconds in each of those exercises makes a big difference. If you're repeat doing those exercises in each block nine times, with an extra 10 seconds, that's a lot more extra work you're doing. But hey, that's what we're here for. Have fun and test yourself. And obviously at the end, we did that little abs blast. Those five exercises with 30 seconds in each one, which would just polish those abs off because they were engaged before anyway. So holding that stretch, leg cross. So remember each burn, we modify, add a few new exercises in, just a challenge so you get too used to it. So if you find that one tough today, go back, watch it again over the next couple of days. There's no sessions on Friday this week. So you can go back and re-watch that on Friday if you wanted to. Soles your feet together. So every session, some people will find certain exercises harder than others. Some will really struggle on press-ups, some will really struggle on jumping lunges. Everyone in all has their limits of what they find harder than other exercises. Your goal is to how to push yourself and do more reps of that one the next time round. So holding that position, fantastic. Up onto your knee, drive those hips in. So remember with burn, it is literally, so I do the warm for the cool down, you're looking at about 24 minutes of working out. And obviously you get a little bit of breathing between each block, but the idea, change leg, is you give it your all in each of those blocks of exercises. So that way when it comes to the end of the block, you need that break. When I schedule in that six seconds, six or seven seconds, between each of the exercises in the block, the idea is to change over from one exercise to the other, but give you a chance to shake something out and think to yourself, yeah, I know I've done that. Okay, so feet and knees roughly hip width. We're going to do right arm, left leg, raise it up. So you should push yourself that tough to your own levels. Everyone's level's different and switch. So that when those breaks come around, it shouldn't be a case of, oh, that break was a bit long and it kept going. If you think that, you didn't put enough into it. Remember, I designed the workouts, but what you put into it is what you get out of it, okay? If you follow my lead and keep testing yourself, you will really hit those goals you want to achieve. It could be just to complete the session. It could be to do a few more reps than the last time. It could be to get ahead of me to do more reps than what I'm doing. There's loads of goals you can find. Feet together, knees together, hands up high. Squat low, big drive up. Squat low, big drive up. Squat low and hold. Stretch it up. Give yourself a big, big clap, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Hopefully it tests you again. It was different to the other burns we've done before. I hit different areas, but in an intense way. So remember, there's no burn on Friday this week. It's back again on next week's timetable. So if you want to hang around for a few minutes or join me in the next class, just log out this one on to the next one. It's going to be abs and back, so 30 minutes of pure abs and back. And then obviously tomorrow, we've got a new one of beginners hit. And obviously after that, we're going to do the body conditioning with those tins. So do come along, do test days out. Remember, keep watching the videos again for online. There's lots more going on there next week as well. Then you can go up here on here, go on teambath.com, it tells you where they all are. Or go on Team Bath Fitness or Team Bath Instagram. It's been an absolute pleasure doing today, doing the session with you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. Hopefully you've tested yourself 
and you're feeling like you've worked out and you enjoyed it. That is the key part of all of it. Have a great day, everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.